So I've definitely seen a change in like attitude towards plus size models since I've been modelling. When I first started, there wasn't as many women, um, as many plus size bodies on TV or magazines or billboards. And then in the last three years, it's really changed. So there's a lot more people used in high high end adverts, you know. So you've got bigger brands, beauty brands, um, clothing brands that are accepting more and more plus size models. So we're definitely on the right direction and the right journey. Um, there's still a massive divide. There's still a lot of people that don't want to use plus size bodies. You know, you've got the brands that want to use plus but are only accepting size 12, 14 bodies, which doesn't really represent the majority of plus size women. So. There is a positive change towards it, but there's a lot more work to be done. Um, so because of this change and the more and more plus size women being shown in the media, I do feel like there's a split between positive and negative. Um, there's a lot of people negative wise saying that, you know, we're promoting obesity. We're saying it's OK to be fat. Um, why should we show these bodies on mainstream media so that young impressionable people think it's OK to be obese or fat? So, yeah, the more and more bodies are out there and the more and more people are used you know plus size models are used um you're going to get that split where people think that it's not right but then the positive side is yeah it's, it's showing that all bodies are beautiful that there is a range of different body shapes um and that everyone should feel represented whether it be you know for a clothing brand a beauty brand a health lifestyle anything like that you should see bodies in mainstream media that um that represent you so yeah there's a split it's never always going to be positive which you have to understand so the statement about plus size models promoting obesity really gets on my nerves um now obviously i'm bigger than some people but if you saw my body on social media it's not going to make you say oh i want to be her body shape i want to go and eat and be fat or i want to do this want to do that it's not that at all the whole thing about plus size models is to allow people to accept who they are so that you're not pushed into a corner and feel ashamed about your shape, your size. You know, everyone should feel represented. And if you're selling clothes that fit a certain body shape, why shouldn't you have the bodies in them, selling them? Um, so no, I don't, I don't feel like plus size models promote obesity at all. You know, plus size models still go to the gym. We still eat well. We still look after ourselves. We still... You know, we still do things normal people do. It's just our bodies are bigger. It doesn't necessarily mean we sit there every day eating fast food and saying, get fat and it's okay. Don't do anything. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, I don't agree with that statement at all. So I do think it's really important to have um, all different body shapes represented. Like growing up, you want to be able to see somebody that you can relate to, um, clothes that you know are going to fit you a certain way, people that are the same body shape or skin colour or, you know, ethnicity or whatever it is, you need representation for everybody. Like, even now, it's not just young people. Like, growing up, yeah, it's a struggle. But even as a teenager or in your 20s, you're still looking to media to think, what should I look like? What should I do? Um, so if you don't have those people to represent you, then it is, it is hard and you do start to self-criticise yourself um, it can lead to depression, it can lead to people like with issues with food and not eating. And, you know, I really think it's important for everybody to be able to look at mainstream media and say, oh, she looks like me or oh, he looks like me. Or, you know, there's got to be that representation because otherwise you, you'll feel isolated in this world of fake beauty.